wrote my first uh, books when I was a child. My first book was, I was seven, I was in the second grade, and I wrote fan fiction on Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which <laughs> I have to tell you was a big crowd pleaser. And then when I was in the fifth grade, I wrote, I started an original work from an original idea about a talking crow. But I discovered early what has turned out to be a lifelong flaw in my understanding of structure, which was the sagging middle. And after I got the, that talking crow set up and the problem presented, I didn't know what to do with him, and so I just abandoned him. Poor thing, he's probably still sitting in the bottom of my mom's wash basket. And then after that, I didn't, um, I had a little moment when I was in high school and I was a senior and we were taking aptitude tests for college, and my aptitude test showed that my the occupation best fitted to me would be a playwright, because honest to God, who ever heard of a woman in particular being a playwright? And my mother said, I think you'd be a good playwright, but you know, I'm thinking, how do I pay the rent being that? So um, I didn't start writing fiction um, with any intent until probably about 2003, um, and, and, uh, but it wasn't until I joined RWA and I formed up with my critique partners, Patricia and Beth, that I actually got any good at it because, you know, I still have problems with the sagging middle and conflict. <laughs> so um, these people keep me on the straight and narrow, which is a very good thing. So uh, that's my sad story. Oh.